it's so crazy that now everyone is cheering Ricky on for the things that he did, but while he was alive, he didn't get that love. But when I look in the crowd and everybody who's been affected, and I see the impact that he had on young people, you would swear that Ricky was 15 years old. But he was an old, he was a mature guy who always had time for the kids, for every kid. And I just wanted to say thank you to his family for giving us Ricky Rick. Thank you to everybody who showed love to him. Thank you to Bianca for being by his side. I don't think anybody can compare to the love that Bianca gave Ricky Rick. I also want to say to the family that we are with you should you need anything. You should hit up every single one of us who is here because we're all indebted to Ricky Rick. All of us, our successes are indebted to Ricky Rick. Um, one of the reasons, well, they've announced this, but one of the reasons why I, I, I don't want to perform today is because Ricky actually had planned to bring me out at Cotton Fest as a surprise act, right? And for this to happen, he hit me up all the time. And I never wanted to talk to him because I was still angry. But me and Ricky spoke so many times because he always used to force me to talk to me. And um, I think I've said everything that I wanted to say. I would like my brother to rest in peace. And I think it is up to all of us to make sure that he's legacy continues starting with cotton fest we have to make sure that it happens and it has to happen annually uh this will be the end of my speech long live ricky rick bozonke aka makado aka liki we'll love you forever thank you <laughs>